Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel, but for the past two months I have also been opening quite a few limited edition boxes, advent boxes, and 12 days of Christmas boxes, which a lot of people kind of use as advent boxes, but I took them in the sort of more literal sense where you start with Christmas Day for day one and then go all the way to Epiphany, which is actually January 6th, but uh, we have just enough gifts to get us through January. 5th. I hope you have been enjoying both series and by the way there is still time to enter to win some goodies from both sets of boxes by simply taking my multiple choice quiz. The deadline is the 4th so you have until they think the end of today to get those answers in and then the top scorers will be entered to win those little bundles of goodies as my way of saying thank you so so much for watching this series of videos and the last one of course as well because that is what the uh, quiz is based on is the 24 days advent series. So today we are on bird moss because we have four boxes plus our candle box from my trove box that we've been going through day by day and I've been highlighting a different box each day so we had three rounds of highlights which means that this is our final day because the bird moss box was not really a 12 days of Christmas box it was 11 nights in bird moss because bird moss is this whole mystical magical world that she has created and she continues to let us delve into each month through the monthly subscription. By the way, you guys, I will definitely leave a link as well as a discount code for that monthly subscription if it is something that you are interested in. And I do have an unboxing of Bird Moss coming up, the December box. I just had so many boxes that it's coming to just a teeny tiny bit late. But if you're interested, definitely check out some of those unboxings because it is a really hard box to describe, except that you get all of these really interesting items along with bits of poetry that immerse you in this whole magical world and there's a lot of lovers of this sort of magic in their Facebook group which I am a part of as well and I just love the posts that she does over on Instagram too so definitely check it out if you haven't already. Now this was one of the boxes in this series that she was kind enough to give me a nice discount on. For the most part I did pay for all of the boxes with the exception of YSM Designs but she was kind enough to give me a discount on this great little, um, it's not quite an advent box, it's not quite a 12 days box but 11 nights of bird moss box which came looking like a cute little cake, something you might see at a bakery and each of these little wedges is a box that opens from the side and then you can see on the underneath that is where the numbers are. Now if you are someone who can count very quickly with your head um, there are actually only 10 pie pieces here but we had our first gift came in an envelope and that was a really cool wintry diorama card which was one of my favorite gifts in all honesty. Now let's talk about the details of this box because it is the highlight day and it's it's the final day so we will only have four boxes tomorrow or three and a half essentially. So this box was $85. It says 11 Nights in Bird Moss is a special limited edition box issued in November 2022. So a lot of people did it as an advent box. It is offered separately from the monthly Bird Moss box subscription. It says, explore the enchanting land of bird moss with a series of 11 gifts. Each gift is accompanied by a passage of poetry or prose that creates your fairy tale narrative. This advent style holiday countdown is presented as a beautiful flower topped cake made up of wedge shaped boxes. Its contents are a surprise, but you can expect magical treasures, many handmade that will delight all of your senses. And I just really love the poetry element of it. You know, it doesn't, it's not like a clear narrative where there's a story like with a beginning, middle, and end, but again, that's all just very evocative. And we have gotten some really cool gifts. One of my favorites was probably the little uh, music box. I also really have loved some of the jewelry, just really unique items. So if you do the math on that for $85 divided by, by 11, that means that each gift was around $772, $775. So I definitely think that you're getting your money's worth just because of the care that was put into it, the effort, the time that was put into creating all those little cards for everything. I don't know that every gift is worth that much and some gifts are worth probably much more. Like yesterday's gift was that lovely necklace with the watch in it. So it's up to you. I know some of you struggle sometimes with finding the value in boxes like this. This is not a particular box where you're getting like three times the value like our glossy box was for our advent series, right? Which was actually like seven times the value. It was crazy. But this is more for the experience of it and that can be said for the subscription box as well. 
So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at day number 11. So I have to flip it over. Sometimes it kind of wants to escape. So it's nice that there is that uh, lace ribbon that's keeping everything together. And I'm opening up the pie wedge. Here you go. That's how I'm opening it, trying to keep it all pieced together. They did, she did put some glue dots in between the wedges so that it does, for the most part, stay together. I do think it's a really cool gift box that you could definitely reuse because it's not necessarily super um, Christmassy, but how cool would this be to give someone a birthday gift where they got a little something for 10 different days? I just think that would be a really cool thing to do. So um, maybe I'll pass that on to a friend for birthday because it looks like a cake right all right let's see um so that was i just opened up day number 10 again i forgot that we are in day number 11 so my bad day number 11 our last day so let me pull that out i was like that looks familiar because it's the one that i opened up yesterday so day number 11 let me get this out of the way so that was that pendant watch all right, so this time we got a cute little matchbox. Oh, it says mini forest. Look at the little deer. So it's a little matchbox. It said it is, that it is made in Germany. Is it really just a matchbox? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So this goes very much with our first gift. Look at this little diorama, you guys. That is amazing. Talk about being let into a magical world. Have you seen those book nooks that they have that you can put onto your bookshelf where it looks like, you know, someone lives in your bookshelf or how what people do with their crawl spaces to create that image, that illusion? Ugh, that is so sweet. I wonder if it comes out. It does. And it looks like, ugh. so we just had a piece of green paper on the backer, but it's actually you can see you can put it against any background so that it's going to show up more that is so neat that someone did that so it's actually four different layers to create that sense of depth i adore that i just think that is so so cool so i want to squeeze it so that i don't mess it up and let it fall so this is our matchbox scene let me get that to focus this tiny wooden scene includes four laser cut layers to create a dimensional effect it is handmade in germany and let us hear our exunt or the end essentially our our final poem it says among the trees the creatures bow our reveries now are ended it is time to awake as all dreamers must but your findings will stay with you because subscribers are referred to as dreamers uh, because it's kind of like a dream that you have each month when you receive this box or each day when you're opening this this that was very special i i love that as a final gift and it kind of came back around to the wintry scene that we had on day one i think that's such a neat thing to just kind of have tucked away on a bookshelf or in your desk drawer you know not like the most functional practical gift but just so so interesting so neat so our reveries now are ended very like midsummer night's dream there right so that was our final night in bird moss i loved it i hope you guys loved it too and i hope to see you for some bird moss unboxings throughout the year but let's talk about our other ones so we always have our candle to take a look at i usually try to do it towards the beginning so on day 11 because it is based on the 12 days of christmas the song is 11 pipers piping so we had a birds for the first half and then people on the last half so it is apple spice is our scent and it is in one of our gold votives which they all look really good together the silver the gold and the red Ooh, apple spice apple spice is good because it's got more apple than spice but definitely both so mm, that smells nice so i'm so excited to be getting towards the end of this because i want to have them all lit although a couple of them i've already burned through but it would be nice it's nice to have them kind of scattered around the house because i do still have all my decorations up i'm planning on having them up until the end of the week when i have to put it all away which is always just so sad and it never all fits the same way but that was our candle and again you can always check it out and do be on the lookout for updates about my trove box one of my favorite home decor boxes that is out there i will be hopefully sharing that with you very very soon all right, for Once Upon a Book Club's 12 Days of Book Club Miss box. So we have our story, which I have to find, and then we had a kind of big uh, gift for day number 11, which you can see I haven't opened up yet. But let me take a look at that. Started on page 221. So there were still two stories to go at page 221. They told us it was going to be about 200 pages. So I think some of the uh, authors went a little, little over and, you know, they came up with some great stories. So this was called Sweet Expectations. Ooh, this was a good one. 
So this was uh, mostly takes place in Ireland, which you guys know I have a soft spot for Ireland. I love my My Ireland Box unboxings. And it's uh, kind of a classic. You could definitely see this being turned into a movie. She's uh, sort of the go-getter and she, uh, her grandmother basically is the owner of a confectionery or a candy company but it was based originally in Ireland and she tells her to go back she tells Kaylee Quinn to go back to uh, Ireland to kind of understand the roots of the company because she's trying to innovate she's trying to do all this special stuff to make the company expand but her grandmother wants her to like you know go back to those Irish roots and know why some of her newfangled ideas just aren't right for uh, Care Candy so uh, it is written by Anne-Marie Boyle so let's see. I loved it because it was about Ireland and it was about food because of course there's a love interest. Let me see. Our gift came on page 230. This was a pretty short uh, story. Here is what it looks like when we come across our passage and our little note. And of course I'm going to read a little bit more than just those two lines that are highlighted so you get a better idea. So let's see. So she is now staying at, I think it's like a cousin's house, um, but the cousin isn't there right away. So she is staying with the chef, the chef that works at a Michelin starred restaurant who just happens to need a pastry chef. And hey, Kay Kaylee just happens to be really good at that kind of stuff. So let's see. Um, she goes into her bag because the first day she was basically whisked off to a farm excursion and to work in the restaurant. But then Regardless, she was here now and due for another farm excursion in a couple of hours. She rolled out of bed and dug through her suitcase for clean jeans. Near the bottom of her bag, her fingers snagged on something soft. It felt like suede, something she didn't remember packing. Square and a few inches thick, she pulled it from her bag. Printed with metallic ink, words like well-being and happiness glittered back at her from the velvety pouch, words that Kaylee hadn't focused on in a long time. She turned it over in her hands. How had this gotten into her bag? She tubbed the tugged the zipper back. It seemed to be some sort of folded mat. She worked it from the sleeve and a card fell to the floor, a card with her grandmother's initials embossed at the top. A memory flashed through her mind. Shortly before Kaylee left for the airport, her grandmother had stopped by her condo under the guise of providing Kaylee with some additional information about Ireland. She had thought it odd that Orla had carried her briefcase with her to the bathroom. So let me just read the uh, note to you. It says, this was meant to be a gift for your birthday, a way for you to calm and center yourself on your many business trips. But when it became apparent that you needed some time away, not just for Kara, but for yourself too, I decided to find a way to slip it into your luggage. On my last visit to Kinsale, I wandered to the back of Rory's house to find a small room where it feels like the sun is always shining. Take this yoga mat back there, open the windows, and just breathe. Do it for you, not me. So, of course, you guys, if you have an idea of what this could be, again, I haven't opened it, but I felt like I didn't really need to open it because it is, of course, a travel yoga mat. Watch me open it, and it's totally not that, and it's like a recipe book or something again. <laughs> it is not, oh, and it is so pink. They do a lot of pink. So it says self-care. It's got like a, um, <laughs> what is it when you define a word? A definition? That's right. The act of attending to one's physical or mental health, making your body and mind a pleasant place to inhabit. The products or practices used to comfort or soothe oneself. Doing yoga and reading books. That is the third definition in bold. Very cute. So it is kind of a faux suede uh, little bag with a nice little bag. You could definitely use this as like a packing cube. Oh, it's so pink, you guys. It is so, so pink. You could use this as a little laptop cover. Too pink. So pink. All right, so we got a travel yoga mat, which you guys know I'm a little bit picky about my yoga mats because I am a yoga instructor. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get that to focus, but it just doesn't want to. There we go, I'm back. It was the pink. My camera doesn't like it either. Um, so folded yoga mats are definitely easier to take with you than, you know, rolled up ones because they take a lot of space. But it, this is nice because it actually has seams where it it folds naturally so it's not going to be like clumpy because there are some travel yoga mats that um, unless you keep those creases like slightly still there it never folds up quite as nice as it does again so this looks like you fold it the lengthwise and then it just sort of accordion folds back up so it just has images of women doing yoga in different uh, various kinds of dress we've got here we got triangle pose right there on the crease let's see we have someone meditating in lotus and that's what kaylee does mostly is meditation sorry i didn't mean to cut her head off but uh it's cute it smells like a yoga mat it needs to be aired out a little bit it is not the thickest which is 
to be understood of a travel yoga mat, but just enough that your knees aren't going to necessarily hurt. I don't mind the images of the women. I mind that it's this like salmon pink almost. Uh, it's just a little bit feminine for me and um, it's just a little bit girly. It very much feels like it came from a subscription box versus being something that I would take with me traveling. It's like the, it's a great product like size wise um, and uh, in terms of having those folds in it, I don't mind. I love that they gave us this, uh, this bag is actually great. I love this bag. I think the self-care definition on there is cute. Here is the note from, from her grandmother that's written on cardstock, which is pretty cute to kind of bring that moment to life. But for me, it's just a little too feminine. I will pass it on to someone else who wants to take a travel yoga mat with me, but like, it just wouldn't feel authentic to me to be meditating and being on that because it's not the kind of thing that I would pick out for myself, but a nice high quality and uh, made for the box uh, gift, which I like the, I like the bag, even though it's pink. We get a lot of pink things from Once Upon a Book Club. All right, you guys, let's move on to our YSM designs. So we got a little, uh, I guess that's like a sprig of holly there. Here is our very shiny heart today. So this is what this looks like. Ooh, you guys, this is exciting. We got another pair of earrings. I'm actually wearing earrings that came in this box because I just couldn't wait until the end. We got some poinsettia threader earrings and threader earrings are my favorite. Dangly and sparkly, what's not to love? So threader earrings get their name from the fact that they thread through your ear and just hang along the back. These are the kind that where it's not actually a chain. It actually has a little hook where it's gonna sit in your ear. Sometimes threaders, you can do different lengths depending on how far you pull them through. But it is a poinsettia design. Ooh, these are nice and long too. You guys know I love my long, my long earrings, but they're still delicate and long, which I love. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a poinsettia, right? Because it's not in red, so it just looks like a starburst or a snowflake, which I really appreciate because that does mean that it's something that I could wear year round. So these might uh, be in contention for favorite items, but really, honestly, I've had so, so many favorites from YSM Designs, which was sent to me for review. I freaking love those. Those are awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we have one more gift to open up for today, day 11, our penultimate day. I do hope that you will join me for our last one tomorrow. But don't forget, I will still always have those 2 p.m. unboxings for you. Um, I have really enjoyed this box as well, except for all the branded items, which I would say maybe like one third of the items have been highly Bam Blue branded, which that's been the only disappointment. The quality of the items has been pretty good. The value of the box itself has been pretty good because I did get it on sale, but they could just do dispense with all the branded stuff. So for day number 11 from Bam Blue, inside we have our little card that tells us all about it. It says, create the ultimate spa retreat night in your own bathroom with this rejuvenating soap and exfoliating glove. Wash all your troubles away and be renewed to face another day. So we got a little poem from Bam Blue too. All right, guys, let's see what we got. We have a nice soap. It doesn't tell me what scent it is but it is all wrapped up so I can't tell you, but it's like a nice slice of soap you can see. So it feels very handmade, almost like, like a lush soap. And then we have our nice like sea salt bag, our soap saver, which you can use as an exfoliator, although they tend to be a little bit rough on the tender parts of your body, but they do work really great as a soap saver. Um, so I like that. So spa retreat night, of course we have a lot of things from this box that could go towards that spa retreat night. Soap and exfoliating gloves. So they're calling this an exfoliating glove. I call it a soap saver that you can use to exfoliate with, but it does kind of create that nice scrubby effect. So that was a good item. Not branded by Bam Blue, not even blue. Also pink. We got a lot of pink today, but I thought that was a good one. So I'm looking forward to them finishing strong tomorrow. Uh, my favorite today is definitely these threader earrings. They are something that I will wear year round, whether or not they're considered to be poinsettias. But let's just do a quick recap. Of course, we got our apple spice candle in gold. We got our yoga mat, travel yoga mat with the nice uh, bag, which the bag was fine. The yoga mat, the intention behind it, great. Just so pink. Just 
do a gray background just to just be neutral um we got our ysm designs awesome poinsettia threader earrings my very favorite a lot of length but still delicate and lightweight from 11 nights in bird moss we got oh this is a good contender for favorite we got our mini matchbook forest i absolutely love that and from bamboo we got our nice soap and soap saver so let me know in the comments below what your favorite was love to hear from you what's your favorite box so far hope you enjoyed this video if you did help me out with the thumbs up and i'll see you all tomorrow for the last day